What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're going to go through how Travis Scott's Stargazing was made on FL Studio. There are two different beats in Stargazing. The first one sounds like this. One thing really quickly, I don't really make a lot of background music, so if you make music that you think would be good playing behind these segments, hit me up on Instagram at Aiden Kenway, and I will use your music. This first sample was made from a producer out of New Jersey. His name is B Corn, and there are two parts to this sample. The first one is this flute. I'll play it to you without any external effects. This was made on a VST called Silenth, and we're using a square wavetable. We're adding a low pass filter, and for internal effects, we're using clip distortion, some chorus, and some reverb. Then you wanna make sure that you've turned on mono legato, and bring the portamento up to 60%. Then inside of the piano roll, we're going to channel pitch, and we're making these gentle slides on the third and fourth bars. The most important external effect that we're adding to this flute is RC Retrocolor. And the thing about Wobble, especially when you bring down the flutter rate, is it emulates that vibrato that you would hear on a realistic flute. Then we're adding this reverb effect called Valhalla Vintage Verb, which makes it sound a bit more full and airy. So the end result sounds like this. The producer of this sample talks a lot about how he likes to use Alchemy, which is a VST that's native to Logic Pro X. Since Alchemy is no longer available to FL Studio users, I found a really good substitute inside of Repro 5. This is what the preset sounds like without any external effects. To recreate this synth, you can modify a native preset called Goodbye Rita. It sounds like this. All we're doing here is turning off the effects and taking up the attack on both the filter and the amplifier. Then I worked on this preset quite a bit, adding some more color to it and some reverb, some flanger chorus. It sounds like this at the end. Then I exported the sample and added it into a new project and we're adding some imager and some chorus just to make it sound a little bit closer to the actual song. From there, we're adding the 808 and the percussion. Let's start with the 808 and the kick. The 808 that we're using here is actually the spins 808. This is what it sounds like without any external effects. So it sounds completely different afterwards. The spins 808 actually isn't long enough to span four beats, so I'm gonna show you how to loop it so it plays forever. We're going into this audio clip and we're looping it. That means that when it gets to the second red bar here, it will tick over and it will jump back to the first one and it will keep doing that as long as the note is being played. To make this looped section, we're going into the audio editor and we're finding two points that have very little dynamic variation, which means that the volume isn't very different from when the start of the loop plays to the end of the loop. With this sample, you can find the least dynamic variation at the very end. Then you wanna find a point in this sample where the air displacement is at zero. And that's where it crosses over between positive and negative air displacement. Then you wanna find the exact same point in the oscillation at the end of the sample. So that's why I chose this point here. From here, just hit Control L, which will create this loop and just hit accept. From there, you can just drag that back into your audio clip. From there, we're changing the 808 from this to this. First off, parametric EQ2, and we're completely cutting out the high end. Then you can use this free distortion plugin called Camel Crusher, and we're using the patch called Tube Warmth. Then for the 808, we're doing something a bit unusual. We're adding Fruity Reverb. So this is what it sounds like without it and then with it. One of the effects of reverb is it stereoizes a sound, and you can see that the 808 in the original song is in stereo. That being said, the high end of the 808 had much more stereo width, whereas when the frequencies became lower, the 808 became more mono. That's all the important effects on the 808. Then we're adding in two different kick samples. Just make sure that when you're layering your kicks that there's no dissonance between them. Then we have two different hi-hats coming in. This second one is playing on the offbeat to create some more bounce in the sound. Then we have this really big snare and two open hi-hats. All of these stems will be available on my Patreon page. So far, it's sounding like this. 
The final thing I wanna go through with you on this first beat is this perk. And that plays right here where the 808 cuts out. And the most important effect here is reverb. So this is what it sounds like without it and then with it. That's everything for beat number one. Next up we have beat number two. There we go. Okay. Beat number two. Um, first off, the BPM for this one is a bit faster. The first one was 150 beats per minute and this one is 165.5. The first thing I wanna go through with you is this sample. It sounds like this in context. I remade this sample using two different presets. The first one is actually a piano that you can find inside of Nexus. It's the PN Nexus Grand Piano Soft. This is what the piano sounds like before you double time it and reverse it. When you listen to the official audio, it will sound more like a synth. So we're layering in Tal Uno LXV2 and we're using the preset Org Another Organ FMR. And here we're taking up the attack and the release. For effects, we're cutting out the low end and then we're layering in RC Retro Color. Then you can export the audio by right clicking on the pattern and going render and replace. And that will do this. That will convert the MIDI to an audio file. So far it's sounding like this. From there, we're reversing the sample, taking the pitch up 12 semitones and then cutting the speed by half. Then I sent that back to the mixer and we're putting on some distortion, some compression, some chorus, just working the sample to make it sound more like the song. The end result will sound like this. Next up, we're layering in a few different hi-hats to make this pattern. To make these samples bounce a little bit more, we're layering in gross beat to sidechain it with the beat. Next up, we have the hi-hat. You can make this using a few different hi-hat samples. And the second one, again, is giving the pattern more bounce. By the way, this beat was made by 30 Rock. You might have seen his Genius Deconstructed of the Box by Roddy Rich. The 808 used in this song is a pretty popular 808. I think it's the Zaytoven 808. It sounds like this. And this is the pattern that it goes through. For external effects, we're layering in EQ, Sausage Fatner, and some Camel Crusher to add some distortion. Then we have the Metro Boomin' Clap. As for the kick, I've never seen this done before, but the rules of music were made to be broken, so this is how I remade it. So you can see a lot of craziness going on here. All I've done is I've taken this sample and gone uh, Make Unique, and then we're dragging down the transient. That way, the only thing that's left here is the bass frequencies. And we're doing this to basically elongate the kick. It sounds pretty unusual on its own, but it works really well when playing with everything else. Then after 16 bars, we're layering on half time and we're changing up the EQ a little bit. Following that, we have the last part of this beat that I wanna go through with you. Sounds like this. This preset was made by modifying the Bolina preset. This is what it sounds like without any filters. And we're bringing up the attack on the filter and the amplifier, and we're turning off Sonicom. So it sounds like this. Then for filters, we're using Fruity Chorus, Parametric EQ2, Reverb, as well as Ozone 9 Imager to stereoize the sound a little bit more. And that's actually it. That's it for the remake. I'll be putting these stems on my Patreon page if you want to download those for yourself. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.